My name is Kerry Davis and as a volunteer I'm head of More Mascots Please CIC. I've supported over 300 children. I manage 15 staff. I'm Keith Turley. I'm here today to paint a picture of Kerry Davis, a very special lady. Three uh, types of young people that we help between the ages of 0 to 25. Firstly, disabled children and their siblings. Secondly, disadvantaged children and their siblings. And thirdly, children that are very poorly and terminally ill. The reason we chose for up 25 is that you're technically classed as disabled until you're 25. I had to make some decisions to start with about how we were going to position her according to the light and so on and I planned initially to do a sort of head and shoulders type portrait but during the process I thought it might be nice if a good portrait of Kerry included her hands as well. We host Christmas parties but we fund things like trips. I think that I'm going to use this as, as a study to take forward to a slightly larger painting uh, where I include the hands and the upper part of the body so the whole thing is a little bit bigger. My service is a mascot, princess and superhero service where we charge to go to private birthday parties and fun days, any other events that we do. I also organise other activities such as fundraisers, pub quiz nights, psychic nights, previous fashion shows, curry nights Basically, I'm raising money 365 days a year. The medium I'm using today is acrylic, and I shall continue to use acrylic on the final piece, but I shall add oil as well, because a typical way I work is to do the underpainting in acrylic, because it allows me to uh, work quickly and establish the thing quite quickly. But acrylic doesn't really have the depth of colour of oil, so I then work the final layers in oil, which I think gives it a nice full finish uh, with some nice deep colour. Volunteering is crucial as it makes people better individuals and makes them appreciate what they've got around them, particularly with the children that we volunteer with, disabled children, those of disadvantage and in some cases terminally ill. But you will find a long-term volunteer like myself is extremely passionate about what they do. And because of how disabled I am, without my voluntary organisation, at times I would have nothing. Uh, difficult to actually capture here. She's looking a bit more serious here. And I think I may have made a little bit wide across the middle part of the face. But I've taken a mental note of that and I'm going to build those adjustments into the final piece. When I'm out with my carer, people speak to my carer and not me. But myself and my family particularly believe in the ability of individuals rather than the disability. I often include in my staff and trustees who are volunteers, people who are younger, people who necessarily don't have a lot of experience with children, which is obviously something that we key look at, or somebody that has been through a difficult time, I always give them a chance to be involved. And I've got pretty much what I wanted. We got a result that we, we all seem to be reasonably pleased with. I think it's got pretty much of her character. I wouldn't claim that it was 100%, um, but it, it's fairly close. And all I'm going to do now really is to tidy up a little bit, um, but not much. I'm going to leave the uh, diagonal corners so that we've got this sort of nice diagonal composition with Kerry looking out at us. I would definitely recommend volunteering to other people with disabilities. If I'd not volunteered, then I wouldn't be where I am today. Without me volunteering and putting myself out there, children within Dudley and the wider West Midlands would not get the constant support that they have. I've opened up opportunities for trustees and eventually paid staff. That without my volunteering, that would never have happened. So this is my uh, finished version of, of Kerry. Um, hope she's going to like it. 
I've tried to keep it loose and uh, fairly soft um, with plenty of light uh, and trying not to overwork it. Equality of opportunity and if this was done then we would all be on a level playing field.